Thank you very much indeed, and welcome once again, uh, Commissioner. Three brief questions. Um, first is a political question. Uh, you rightly say that half of the companies affected on the interim tax, digital tax proposal are U.S. companies. Are you concerned about a, a reaction, a tit-for-tat reaction from the U.S. administration, given the fact that this is the most protectionist anti-international trade administration we have ever seen, I suspect, in the United States? My second question. On the OECD, you're aware in their report they're now working towards a consensus solution by 2020 with an updated um, proposal, a further update from, from 2019. Do you see potential in fast-tracking the OECD um, response to this problem of digital taxation, which I recognize the effective rate is below what we expect and needs to be addressed. I recognize that. And my, my last question. Um, do you see a potential in sunsetting your proposal on an interim digital tax proposal, sunsetting it for a particular period of time until such a time as we get a solution this at the OECD level? You speak about the uh, comprehensive solution being the CCCTB. We will see where support or opposition lies towards that. But maybe the solution would be better here at an international level, trying to fast track what the OECD is doing and sunsetting your own proposal towards a solution at an OECD level. Thank you. Thank you for those um, uh, questions, um, which are uh, really uh, legitimate. Uh, first, uh, I will start with the OECD. Um, I appreciate uh, the work done by the OECD, and I think that the report that was produced by the OECD uh, two weeks ago uh, is a report of high quality. What does it show? It shows that there is a problem that needs to be dealt uh, in, with internationally, but it also shows that there is no consensus and that we need to work a lot on building this consensus for after 2020. And I think we cannot waste that time for a very simple reason, is that now some member states feel the urgency to legislate for themselves, and I fear the patchwork approach which would destroy the internal market. That is why I think we need to act uh, decisively uh, on our own and to do that uh, quickly. Uh, the interim uh, solution, uh, by definition, should be an interim. Not only waiting for CCCTP, but waiting uh, for a comprehensive approach at the level of OECD and waiting for the legal definition of digital presence, because digital presence can be uh, incorporated in CCTP. Uh, that's the best of the world, but it can also be applied nationally uh, and to have a, uh, there a common base to, to tax the digital uh, economy. And finally, about the um, U.S. reaction, um, as you know, uh, I've been uh, writing uh, a letter to Stephen Mnuchin, the uh, Secretary of Treasury, before delivering uh, our proposal. I also uh, met him in uh, Buenos Aires. I had the occasion to express myself uh, in the uh, meeting of the uh, G20 itself. And uh, I repeat here that first, the tax that we are proposing is not an anti-US tax. This is something that we are doing uh, on our own, that we have been working on for months, and not uh, a response to a uh, trade situation, which uh, I think is damaging. Uh, it's not an anti-US tax because the companies concerned are not at all uh, U.S. companies. Some of them are included, some of them are uh, uh, excluded, and it's not an, a GAFA tax. I want to correct that. Uh, saying it's a GAFA tax is spectacular, because people are accustomed to uh, listening uh, about them, but uh, it, it's much more than that. Uh, there are, I, I repeat, uh, probably 180 companies that uh, are in the scope of this uh, tax, uh, and, and this is what I will still advocate when I talk to our American friends. I will be in Washington in a few weeks uh, for the uh, meetings of the IMF, and I will repeat that to the Treasury, the White House, uh, and other officials in order to, well, uh, water down uh, what could be uh, too much excitement.